I think another, uh, I would like to report on another study uh, which will be presented in the oral session uh, on newly diagnosed myeloma. That is uh, a, a retrospective study um, um, which is uh, authored by uh, Theresia Aplaghi um, um, and uh, including uh, several important uh, uh, myeloma experts like uh, Ola Landgrid and um, Sergio Shira. Usmani and so on. And what these authors did is they looked at 438 patients with smoldering myeloma, uh, which uh, at this point of time, uh, for, um, according to the definition which was, was created in 2014, um, should be already um, classified as myeloma, multiple myeloma, because they had a free light chain ratio of 100 or greater than 100. So th those patients um, uh, deemed to be um, included in the category of multiple myeloma because of this high free light chain ratio. And because earlier reports showed that um, patients with a higher free light chain ratio, higher than 100, 100 or above, have a shorter time to progression to active myeloma. But uh, these studies were published before 2014, and now there's more evidence available. Uh, and uh, regarding the time to progression of patients uh, which fulfill this criteria, and this in, is very important, because uh, in the um, consensus of the International Myeloma Work Group, it is recommended to start treatment in those patients with uh, a free light chain ratio of 100 or higher. So the authors found actually a time to progression, a median time to progression of 31 months, um, almost uh, one and a half year. Uh, so that is something um, which uh, needs to be considered when you uh, see a patient with this high free light chain ratio, because only a minority will progress within the first six months, and uh, less than 50% will progress within one year. So uh, the uh, recommendation to start treatment in those patients uh, would, in my opinion, only be, uh, let's say, plausible if you have a treatment which is atoxic and induces a high cure rate. So this needs to be considered when you see a patient with a uh, high free light chain ratio and when you consider uh, starting a therapy. So in many of those patients, it is probably advisable uh, to follow those patients and to see and do and in, in case there is an increasing uh, 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 the rate of uh, free light chain ratio is increasing and other signals of uh, uh, beginning myeloma uh, become evident then to start therapy but not to start treatment in every patient with this criteria so that is something which is important for the myeloma community